from dogs to cats because my next guest burst onto our screens back in 1998 hosting kids TV show SMTV Live alongside those fresh faced little boys Ant and Dick before swapping the UK for Los Angeles. But now Kat Dealey is back. She's released her first children's book. It's beautiful. It's called The Joy In You. Kat, it's so lovely to see you. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm, you know what? I'm just sad I can't be there in the studio to give you a squeeze. How are you? I know, I know. It's a shame, but hopefully soon. This is gorgeous. Absolutely oh, gorgeous. You. And it's got such a, a lovely message as well. It's something that I think all kids... It's, it's very reassuring and very uplifting. Yeah, it kind of is. It, it's all the things that I want to say when I can't find the words. You know, like any mom, we get to the end of the day and it's... I'm exhausted, they've been fed, they've been birthed, they've got their pyjamas on, and you're about to read a story. And this is always the moment when you get those big life questions as well from them, definitely, always. And so it was, I wanted to write a book that said everything that I want to say when I can't find the words, when I'm too tired. And I want them to, like you say, go to bed with a feeling that they're loved. It's a, it's a collection of moments and thoughts and feelings and, and emotions, and it's top and tailed with love. And I think just the more we can, I think every parent wants the same things for their kids. You know, we all want them to be happy and we want them to be kind. And I think the more they can talk about their emotions and, and, and nothing's a problem and you can talk about things and everything's out in the open, the more they can reach their full potential as an adult, really. Yeah, no, I absolutely get it. But especially now, Kat, especially now. Yeah. Because you talked about the, those life questions. Because lots of kids, I mean, you, your babies are, what, four and two? Four, four and two, four which is why two. I'm kind of hiding out here because this would be terrible. <laughs> At the moment, this would be, they'd be like crawling all over me and they just, yeah, they wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah. So that's why I'm hiding out here. But yeah, it's, it's such a strange time. I think it's a strange time for everybody. And, you know, they, they ask these big questions and I think you, you never should hide anything, you know. I think that if you hide, kids can pretty much cope with anything, but if you hide something, they can very much become fearful of the unknown. No, that's very true. And they do live in the now. And I think that's important to remember. And I think it's just about being honest yeah. with them, that's for sure. Well, look, if your book is yeah. not enough to make us feel better, also, there's going to be an SMTV reunion. You know how much I love this show. I mean, Rosie grew up, but my daughter grew up on this show. It was just the best fun. I know. I mean, she used to come down to the show and she'd, she'd make me models, I remember. She'd make yes. me, like, models out of cardboard and bits of balloons and she'd hand it over to me. <laughs> and I always remember her being that little girl. I'd never think of her as being, like, a fully grown woman now. I know, it's so, it's I so know. weird. But, yeah, your, your cameo is on there, Lorraine. There you are. That's <laughs> you in Chums. Oh, um, gosh. You, you, such... were, you were on there. And I just, I always, always remember your line, which was, you were, you said something along the lines of, I'm Lorraine Kelly, you know, <laughs> goddess of morning TV and permanently cheery and smiley. But, and then you Glasgow kissed and, and went, I just... <clears throat> But take your hands off my designer jacket, pal. He's yeah. never he's never recovered. <laughs> oh, do you know what? It was no. such great fun. It was live. Oh, it was, it was brilliant fun. And then you turned it into a music show. Like you actually watched the set, yeah. turn it into it was brilliant. So the reunion is going to be really special. Yeah, it was really good fun because we actually went back to LWT, where you guys used to be too. And so we did the walk that we do in the morning. And oh. It was weird because the studios are kind of derelict now, but the smell was kind of still yes. the same and we did the same. It was weird. And then we went into the studio and the three of us just sat down. And, and you know, we, we, did, we did stay in touch and we did see each other when they were going to the jungle or something like that. They'd stop in LA on the way. And so we would see each other, but you never know quite what it's going to be like. And we sat down on the couch together and instantaneously the chemistry was still there yeah. and we made each other laugh and we made each other cry and put in my cat the dog teeth. We spat them out. Like, it was just so much fun. And I think pe hopefully people will really enjoy it. Oh, they will. They will. Of course they will. It's fantastic nostalgia. And I'd love to see you guys getting back together again to do something else. I mean, I know you were in America for a long time, but you're now uh -huh. back here. And... Mm -hmm. We, you know, we have heard that it was it was quite a you know quite a distressing incident for for your husband, for Patrick and the kids to come back here. But that kind of made your mind up, didn't it? Yeah, it was kind of the catalyst. I'd, I'd say. I mean, we, we'd always kind of thought, you know, we want 
our boys, they've got grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins that they adore and they adore them right back. And for us, it was like, it's such a special moment in time and you don't get those times back again. So we'd always thought that we would we would bring them back here so that they could know everybody in the family and, and, um, and friends. But the, the catalyst for it was definitely, there was a moment where... Um, Paddy called me and him and Milo were stuck in a shopping centre, a shopping mall there, and um, I had to go and pick them up and I didn't know quite where they were. And there were helicopters and police vans and news crews and it was it was terrifying for me. Oh, yeah. Um, it was, everybody was fine and everybody was, you know, safe and fine. It was completely okay, but it was terrifying for me. That's really, that's so, so scary. I mean, that, that shows the difference in the cultures, you know, that sort of gun culture in America, where if you were putting them into school, you know, they tell you yeah. that you, you actually have to have a, a drill in, in case somebody yes. comes in to, to attack the kids. I mean, that, that's scary. So you were always going to come back, but I think that made your yeah. mind up. That made your mind up. And it's yes. so good to have you back here. It really is. And, and how Thank is gorgeous you. Patrick? How is he the most romantic man in the world? <laughs> <laughs> he was, he is pretty epic, yeah. When 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 he wants to be, he's pretty epic. And yeah, oh. you you're you're referring because I remember him coming on your show and he told you about the time when he came to LA and surprised me for my birthday. Yep. And that was it really. That was the moment there was there was no going back from there. Because you know why? Because it was so noble. You know, sometimes it's it's a it's a pain trying to get anybody to even text you back, let alone travel across the other side of the world. So <laughs> It was, it was amazing. Oh, no, it's fantastic. It's great to have you back here. The joy in you. The book is absolutely beautiful, Kat. It really is. Good luck with that. And Thank I hope you. to see you soon Thank and you. to see you back on our screens as well because we want to see much, much, much more of you. Thank you so much, Kat. Oh, thank you. Hi. Sorry about, you know what it's like? You've all done it yourself, haven't you? When you're on the Zoom call to your mum and it just goes all weird. But I think we were fine. We, we, definitely, we definitely got the message from Kat and it's just great to see her. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.